What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Let's keep rolling with Liberty Civil Defense. For those of you who are new to the channel or don't know exactly what we're doing, we have a 10 millimeter ammo test series that we're doing and number five was Liberty Civil Defense. Now this is 60 grain, 60 grains of projectile going at 2400 feet per second. We have a couple other videos that you should check out if you want to see how this stuff performs in gel, bear gel, and gel with clothing. But now we're going to kick it up to a different level. So I had asked you with a recent post, what are we going to do with some of these extra rounds that we have after testing? And a lot of you, of course, said auto doors. So we have a door off of a Jeep Patriot here, and we're going to be shooting right here at this point, And this should get us through the door, through the inner piece of door, and into the gel block. Now we're using this particular section because I only think that's fair. You're either going to be behind one layer of steel or two layers of steel. And then sometimes if the window's down, you'll have a layer of glass in between. You might have mechanics, insulation, wires, and plastics in there also. So just two layers of steel, sheet metal, whatever you want to call this, that should be fair and sufficient to see how it affects the gel afterwards. We're only dealing with a 60 grain projectile, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here. So this stuff has a super deep hollow point, and I'm not sure how that's going to affect it either. 15 feet off the target slash gel, like all the other tests to keep things consistent. Let's see what happens. Let's take a look. We impacted pretty close to where I wanted. Well, actually my measurements were bad. That was not a good shot. And it came through that insulation and support beam. It dented it out just a little bit, but it did not make it back to the other side of metal. So let's readjust and do this again. So of course this is the ammo that I'm gonna have the most errors with because it's the most expensive. So let me try to get this right this time. I think I know where to aim. Let's see if we got it that time. So I can see gel through that hole. And awesome, I think we got in there. I think that's the projectile right there up top. Let me take a look. It obviously blew through the door, no problem. And it went through the second layer, no problem. That's what it looked like actually hitting the block. That spot right there, you can see some crap, some dark stuff, metal particles, whatever. And we're gonna have to follow this track back and it's behind this little explosion. So we'll come around and we're gonna take a look and we're gonna see all this mess here and so it did still do some disruption. I wouldn't say it, it, of course, didn't do like it would do without any barrier in front of it, but it still, still did do a pretty good mess right here. It came through the cloudy portion of block and it ended up right there. You can just see it there. Now from the top, that's from a previous test. So from the top, that's from a previous test and that's where the one lays underneath it. So that's pretty interesting that it made it just as far as these other projectiles. Sorry, this block is just a total mess at this point, but about 11 and a half inches this thing made it. That's pretty amazing. It made it through two layers of car door and it acted just like it was going through denim. So here's what the one that went through the door looks like. It actually left a piece of flattened lead halfway through the track. And there's what was left of the projectile. Slightly more than when we go through clothing or non-clothing. Clothing and non-clothing, different barrel lengths seem to have no real effect, but the car door changed the way this bullet worked. However, it still ended up in the same place. Pretty interesting. And we have about 41 grains left. Forty-one on that one. So I think that's pretty cool. We just answered a question that a lot of people have is that can this ammunition make it through a car door and still affect something on the other side? 
I would say it definitely can. Now, not if it's gonna go through one of those support pillars because we did see it stop there. It doesn't have a whole lot of weight through it or in it to push it through things. And it's definitely not the shape of what's left, that little disc of metal, that doesn't lend it to be piercing of anything. So what we're talking about that round is just pure speed to get it through things and energy transfer. We definitely still have some of this ammo left, so we're gonna keep pushing it through other things. If you wanna see that kind of content, make sure you're subscribed. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you at the next video. And until then, stay safe, have fun, and keep shooting.